Ouija boards caused 28 schoolgirls to be hospitalized in Colombia. Prepare to be spooked. Recently, a group of schoolgirls in Colombia experienced a chilling encounter with Ouija boards that left them hospitalized. A Ouija board is a board with letters, numbers, and other symbols printed on it that some people believe can communicate with spirits or the dead. Participants place their fingers on a small heart-shaped piece of wood or plastic called the planchette, which moves around the board to spell out messages purportedly from the spirit world. According to the reports, 28 girls were rushed to the hospital after they suffered from anxiety attacks following their use of the mysterious board game. The incident took place in the Galeras Educational Institution in southern Colombia, where girls reportedly fainted and displayed numerous symptoms of anxiety. Although parents are blaming the Ouija board for the hospitalizations, the school board, the school's head has urged caution and restraint, calling on people to avoid jumping to conclusions that may cause unnecessary panic. Interestingly, this is not the first time such an incident has occurred in Colombia. In November of last year, 11 teenagers from another school passed out using after using the same board game. However, it was later discovered that teenagers had actually suffered from food poisoning, not the supernatural. Hmm. What do you suspect is happening here? I suspect that there is either some confounding factor here like something else that could be considered like in the incident that happened last year where there's actually food poisoning or um that this is a low level case of um mass psychogenic illness aka mass hysteria i mean obviously if it happens to just 28 people mass hysteria or mass psychogenic illness is usually defined as these things spreading to other schools or other villages or other towns da, da, da. um and so far this hasn't spread at all so that's why i'm saying low level so my my um my best guess would be a um yeah some basically just psychogenic illness because a lot of the um, symptoms that are reported are very similar or in line with other cases of girls having psychogenic illness. For example, they the anxiety attacks that they had, they reported respiratory problems, problems breathing, um, fainting, um, uh, had to be hospitalized, but they all recovered fairly quickly. I think that there were some reports that there were a few girls who maybe had underlying illnesses, um, but most of them didn't. And so I think of it as basically psychological contagion. That is my, th that is speculation. Let me be clear, but that is my mm. best guess. Yeah. I mean, you just need a couple of them to have, a. Uh an episode and given that you know the they had the thing there the, uh, all the other ones who who are not prone to being to such an anxiety attack they're just going to um, relate these two with each other and all of a sudden they have a reason to have an anxiety attack right so you just like imagine you have 28 girls imagine two of them actually are prone to having an anxiety attack but people who are witnessing that are just going to con connect these together and now they're going to think that they are under harm's way as well and they're going to have a more yeah because they're like oh we're uh, playing with the ouija board as well that means that we are also prone to having this yeah. reaction because the spirits are inside of us da 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 because if you look at um our editor d put in a few tweets where people were responding to this news and they're basically talking about how these girls were possessed <laughs> yeah yeah the, the read like, these scroll down here says these girls pro probably picked up demons playing with that occult board and will help and they will more than likely need deliverance god help our young people and if you scroll down there's one more it says i know people think that the occult slash voodoo slash rituals etc is just something fun to play with and especially because of how it's portrayed on tv in recent years but these are all very dark spiritual practices and i think people have been brainwashed into thinking that they aren't so a lot of people are going to think that uh, this is they literally were touched by spirits and that's why they're having this reaction um and that belief is 
probably in my again speculation um i think what what fueled this event is someone had an, an anxiety yeah. attack and then the girls are like oh my god i also was touched by spirits da 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 yeah, I mean, it makes sense. You only have to believe that this could happen, and then you're going to have an anxiety attack. And if you see something happening, and you believe that something could happen, then you're going to have an anxiety attack. I mean, it doesn't... I mean, I'm not saying that's what happened, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's what happened. <laughs> D is saying God was warning them. <laughs> Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description. <laughs>